Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this interesting shape as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, we got these uh, two squares and moreover the side lengths for this uh, rectangle are 8 and 16 units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Before we proceed any further, let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus uh, on this uh, square on the right hand side. Let's assume that the side lengths of this uh, square are uh, A, since we are dealing with the square, so all sides uh, must be equal in length. So all sides are going to be A. And since uh, this is our rectangle, if this side length uh, is uh, A, then this side length is going to be A as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, square at the bottom. And now let's assume the side length for this uh, square are uh, B. If this is B, then all these uh, side lengths are going to be and now we know that this is our rectangle so that means uh, this side length is going to be equal to this side length and we know that this side length is b then this side length has got to be b as well so we can see that the side lengths of this uh, green rectangle turns out to be a and uh, b and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, rectangle and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula area equals to length times width so therefore the area of this uh, green rectangle is going to be simply our length is b and our width is a so the area of this green rectangle is going to be a times b and now our task is to find the value of a times b and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, yellow and blue triangles and now we can see both of them are right triangles and now we can see that this angle is congruent to this angle since they are corresponding angles and likewise this angle is going to be congruent to this angle since they are corresponding angles as well and now we can also see that both of these angles are complementary angles since the sum of these two angles equals to 90 degrees. And now we can see that this uh, yellow triangle and this uh, blue triangle are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. And we know that the side lengths for this uh, yellow triangle are A and uh, 8. And likewise, for this uh, blue triangle, the side lengths are B and uh, 16. And since uh, these uh, two triangles are similar triangles, so therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of this uh, A and 8, let me go ahead and write down A divided by 8 is going to be equal to the ratio of this uh, 16 and b let me go ahead and write down 16 divided by b now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply so therefore a times b is going to be 16 times 8 is 128 and we know that the area of this uh, green rectangle is uh, a times b and we figured out a times b equals to 128 so i'm going to replace this one by 128 so therefore the area of this uh, green rectangle turns out to be 128 uh, square units so that means this is uh, 128 square units so thus the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle turns out to be 128 uh, square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.